Hello, I welcome you to Wajirao and Reddy Institute. Today, in this lecture, I'll be talking about climate change. Climate change is one of a very important topic from the prelims perspective. It is one of the hot news which keeps coming in the newspapers now and then. And there are a lot of questions which has been asked from this topic in UPSC prelims since past 15 years almost every year there will be one question definitely from climate change let's try to understand i'll be demystifying the entire concepts of climate change what is it about and uh, what are the kind of questions which can come from this part having said this climate change can be defined by two uh, definitions. The first definition was given by IPCC, which is International Panel on Climate Change So this is one organization, it's a multi-national uh, organization which has uh, the responsibility of assessing the climate change and giving the uh, uh, reports on what is going on around the world. So what is the change in uh, the temperature and what, what is happening with the other world. So that kind of reports will be given which, we, which they call it as assessment reports now and then and uh, that has defined climate change as any change in climate over time whether due to natural variability or as a result of human activity so the definition of climate change according to ipcc says there is a change in the climate over time so it's not a small uh, duration so the the change for small time so we take the data of around 100 years 150 years so as compared to that there is a change in temperature so generally when you are talking about climate change so we consider the pre-industrial era and post-industrial era what was the uh, kind of climate which was there before the industrialization and what has happened after that that is the first definition the second definition was given by uh, is given by UNFCCC it, this is United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. So UNFCC defines climate change as the change of climate that is attributed directly or di indirectly to human activities that alters the composition of global atmosphere that is in addition to natural climatic variation observed over comparable time period. So both the definitions are stressing on the change in the climatic conditions which are both natural but mostly enhanced by the human beings so those are the definitions now let's try to understand much more in detail when you are talking about climate change there are three major concepts which comes okay the first one is First one is the climate change then there is green house effect and third is global warming. So these three are the most common terminologies which comes when we are talking about climate change. Let us try to understand these individually. They are linked with each other, but still they are different from each other. Greenhouse effect basically is a phenomena where the earth maintain its global temperature in an average of around 15 degrees so that the life is possible on earth. So it is how the uh, the, the earth maintain its 
global average temperature that is called as greenhouse effect i'll be discussing about greenhouse effect much more in detail in the climbing side so here i'm just giving a uh, introduction on what exactly is uh, uh, greenhouse effect in comparison with the other two concepts so this is a phenomena of heating up of earth earth maintain its temperature without greenhouse effect obviously the earth would be a frozen planet it would be the uh, the global temperature of earth would be minus 19 degrees celsius it would be a lifeless cold planet because of the uh, the phenomena called as greenhouse effect the earth's global average temperature is been maintained that is called as greenhouse effect greenhouse effect when it gets enhanced an average natural greenhouse effect will not be harmful so but when the greenhouse effect get enhanced this is a beneficial process the greenhouse effect but with when it gets enhanced because of various reasons anthropogenic reasons so then uh, it leads to a concept called as the effect called as global warming so that is an rise in the average global temperature over a long period of time so the average temperature of the earth will be higher will be uh, more because of enhanced greenhouse effect so that is the effect of global warming so because of this global warming finally there will be the impact of global warming will be seen as a climate change there will be so many effects of climate change okay so like melting of ice or rising of sea levels change in cropping pattern and many things so this is thing the first thing is the greenhouse effect then it leads to global warming and finally leading to climate change these are the three things so climate change is the final effect what happens because of global warming now we'll try to understand the concepts individually the first is greenhouse effect see when you want to explain the greenhouse effect it's a term for the role the atmosphere plays in helping the uh, helping to warm the earth's surface so what is the role of earth how ro uh, the earth maintain its temperature okay on the earth's surface to understand this basically we should know that whatever the radiations which are coming from the sun they reach earth in different wavelengths so this is the electromagnetic spectrum so here i have uh, given this to say that there are different kinds of rays depending on the wavelength and frequency and if you look into the relationship between the wavelength and frequency they are inversely proportional that means when the wavelength increases the frequency of that wave will decrease and when the wavelength decreases the frequency will increase so in the entire range of uh, electromagnetic spectrum uh, you have like extremely low frequency radiations like uh, the am and fm radio waves then tv cell phones radar remote okay so uh, after that the frequency increases like light sun x ray emission radioactive elements and others so if you look into the waves kinds of waves we have like microwaves and more frequent or high frequency radiations or waves than microwaves are infrared waves and then comes visible light okay so which we call it as incoming solar radiations and then ultraviolet rays okay so we are interested only in these three things if you want to arrange the radiations from the uh, low frequency to high frequency then you can say that infrared radiations are having low frequency and high wavelength as compared to the light or insulation incoming solar radiation 
which are having high frequency and lower wavelength it's just a comparison between these just these two kind of radiations coming from the sun and uh, what is their tendency now what happens so if you understood this i'll now be explaining you the actual concept of greenhouse effect the term greenhouse is originated because of the buildings which are usually set up in the temperate areas see any plant requires a particular amount of temperature for its growth and development but in most of the temperate countries the availability of sunlight or sun will be for a very less time so whatever the duration the sun is available that sunlight needs to be trapped so what they do they construct the buildings like this okay so this is a house where all the you know walls and the roof is made up of glass and this glass will allow the sunlight to pass through that because sunlight comparatively has high frequency and low wavelength because of lower wavelength and high frequency the glasses acts as a transparent body to the incoming solar radiations so the light rays when these light rays from the sun enters these glasses through roof through windows and other things it will be absorbed by many of the objects which are present you know it may be the plants the uh, the floor the structures which are kept inside the greenhouses okay so the glass house so these bodies when they get heated up see any body which gets heated up have to emit the somehow dissipate the heat so in order to come back to normal so the body which is heated they will start emitting the radiations and the emitted radiations the heat radiations usually will be in the form of infrared radiations or ir so these infrared radiations as compared to the incoming solar radiations will be having low frequency and high wavelength so because of this low frequency and high wavelength the glass which uh, you know allowed the light to come inside they acted as transparent now the glass acts as a opaque it will not allow the infrared radiations to go out of the greenhouses so the light gets trapped it will go and again heat the glass panels the rays will be absorbed instead of letting it pass through it so that glass panels will again reflect back the radiation so that will be many radiations moving inside and this increases the temperature of the greenhouse or the glass house so this is the actual phenomena which happens in the glass house the reason is they want to maintain the temperature required for growth and development of the plants with a small available sunlight so this is what is called as greenhouse effect and these greenhouses they are called as glass house or the greenhouse or poly house there are many names okay so this is what happens uh, in the normal case so the earth exactly acts like a greenhouse so around the earth there is a blanket of gases so the gases which are uh, surrounding the earth it forms a or covers the entire earth with a blanket so these gaseous molecules which are mostly the heteroatomic molecules
हेटेरो एटॉमिक मॉलिक्यूल्स विच एक्ट एज अ ब्लैंकेट अराउंड द ग्लोब सो दे एक्ट जस्ट लाइक दिस ग्लास सो वॉट हैपन्स द इनकमिंग सोलर रेडिएशंस दे विल एंटर द अर्थ एंड दीज गैशियस ब्लैंकेट विल अलो द रेडिएशंस टू पास थ्रू दैम एंड वंस इट पासस बिकॉज ऑफ अगेन हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड लो वेव लेंथ दे विल यू नो सम ऑफ दैम विल बी एब्जॉर्ब some of them will be reflected and most of the waves enter the earth and they will be absorbed by various objects which are present on the surface of the earth and once these objects get heated up by absorption of these radiations they'll get hot, they'll become hot bodies and these hot bodies want to emit the radiations back for dissipation of heat and uh that heat is reflected back in the form of infrared radiations and this infrared radiations obviously are having less frequency and higher wavelength and that's why these uh gaseous molecules will not allow this infrared radiations to pass through them this will maintain the average global temperature so that is how we have the average global temperature of around 15 degrees celsius and uh, in the absence of this greenhouse gas as i said earlier earth would be a frozen lifeless planet with an av average global temperature of minus 19 degrees celsius so this is what is going on this yellow color represents the incoming solar radiation and when it is reflected back it goes back as a infrared radiations again these molecules the uh, uh, heteroatomic gaseous molecules it may be carbon dioxide hydrofluorocarbons sulfur hexafluoride nitrous oxides all these gaseous molecules so they will absorb this incoming infrared radiations and again in turn they get heated up and they will again dissipate the heat back to the earth surface uh, and this maintains the global average temperature and this effect you know wherein like they are not allowing it to go on maintaining so this is basically called as radioactive forcing radioactive forcing a, a body gets heated up and it will emit the radiations okay so that is what is greenhouse effect the most essential phenomena for the presence of life on earth having said that i will move on to the next slide which shows us which are these molecules we are talking about so when i said there is a the earth is covered by a blanket of gases so what are the gases we are talking about there are many gases so some gases exhibit these characteristics some gases doesn't and based on their ability to cause this kind of radioactive forcing or the ability to allow the sunlight to pass through them and the ability to you know block the infrared outgoing infrared radiations so they are classified as the greenhouse gases okay so the gases which exhibit these characteristics and which cause the greenhouse effect they are called as greenhouse gases and there are around six gases which are considered as greenhouse gases so the carbon dioxide methane ch4 mostly the methane comes from the wet bodies so whenever there is anaerobic uh, decomposition that is when the methane is exhibited then we have nitrous oxide then fluorinated gases like hydrofluorocarbons perfluorocarbons and sulfur hexafluoride so these are the gases and their percentage okay how much they are emitted now the greenhouse effect is of two types one is the natural greenhouse effect which is happening since the origin of life on earth so that is normal that doesn't have much more uh, impact but there is something called as human enhanced greenhouse effect 
which is a concept where the the amount of these greenhouse gases in the atmosphere is increasing because of anthropogenic reasons because we are polluting the environment through vehicles through factories through uh, the industries through various uh, over exploitation we are reducing the carbon sink the forests which acts as a absorber of carbon dioxide or its equivalents so we are reducing the carbon sink and we are increasing the emission of these heteroatomic molecules and because of that what's happening the amount of heat which is retained by greenhouse effect is increasing in the atmosphere and because of that the global average temperature is increasing right this effect okay this amplified warming of global atmosphere as compared to the natural warming so the amplified warming is actually what is called as global warming so it is a rise in average temperature of earth's atmosphere and oceans over time so as the time happens because of anthropogenic activities there is a average rise in the temperature of atmosphere and the oceans okay so more scientifically it means accelerated warming of earth's surface due to anthropogenic which is the human based release of greenhouse gases due to industrial activity and deforestation so this is what exactly depicts the global warming so because of the blockage because lot of gases which are present in the atmosphere because a lot of heat is been trapped by enhanced greenhouse effect so the average global temperature is increasing so this is a data this shows uh, the change in the glo average global temperature over 100 years the data taken over 100 years so there are lot of places where the average temperature has increased and it is impacting the life on earth it is impacting various phenomena it is impacting the agriculture patterns it is leading to the melting of ice in the polar regions it is leading to increase in the sea level change in agriculture patterns crop patterns migration there are a lot of effects which are happening because of uh, the global warming so there are many reasons which are the reasons of global warming including industrialization power generation urbanization transportation okay based on burning of fossil fuels urban automobiles okay and industries burning of fossil fuels for domestic purpose deforestation which is the decrease in the carbon sink cattle rearing which releases methane uh, wetland changes burning of forest so there are many reasons which are the causes of greenhouse uh, the glo glo global warming or enhanced greenhouse effect which is causing high amount of distress or it is causing danger danger to the atmosphere so and the living organisms so that is what is called as global warming 